box, you will find three items. The DMX40 transceiver, a keyboard, and the goodie bag. The keyboard is a low power mini PS2 USB keyboard. The goodie bag contains two items, a microfiber cleaning cloth for the LCD screen and a DC power connector. The DC power connector has two screw connections to attach to wires from a battery. You can also use a 12 volt wall plug or other power supply, however be aware that some power supplies generate RF interference. A battery is the best supply because it will not generate RF noise. Let's take a look at the transceiver itself. This is the lid, which comes off by simply pulling it off. A card is stored inside, which contains a warning message about not operating the transmitter without a dummy load or antenna connected to the antenna terminal. In addition, there is a reminder to not run the keyboard wire near the back of the unit or near the antenna cable to prevent excessive RF into the keyboard connector. This can cause the microprocessor to go berserk. A strong RF in the keyboard cable can overload the RF filter on the keyboard input to the transceiver. This is the lid of the unit, which has two flexible fingers on the front and two on the side, which hold the lid in place. To put the lid on, position the two fingers towards you and place over the unit with the power switch towards you, like this. The lid protects the LCD and LEDs when not in use from damage. Looking at the rear panel, we have the headphone output jack, which can also be connected to a powered speaker, the antenna jack, and the power output jack, where you can connect your 12 volt power source, such as a battery. Turning over to the front panel, we have the LEDs and the power switch and the color touchscreen. On the left side are three connectors, two 3.5 millimeter audio connectors, the keyboard USB connector, and a micro USB connector used during manufacturing. The top connector, key in out, is a stereo connection where one channel is key out and one channel is key in. A wiring diagram is provided in the reference manual appendices showing how to wire this plug. Key out allows you to send CW to an external transceiver and key in allows you to use an external Morse key to manually send code or practice sending code using the internal decoder to check your hand. The second connection is the audio in connector where you bring in the audio from your external transceiver headphone output to drive the DMX decoder. The combination of these two connections enables you to utilize an external transceiver on any band with any power level combined with the computer decoding and processing and the automated encoding from keyboard, built-in functions, and microprograms with your base station.